Hi, this is the first reading for my new channel, Metal Dog Tarot, and I'm going to just pull cards for Metal Dogs. And we are turning 50 this year. We're in the time of Virgo right now. I have so many Virgo friends turning ages, but today my mission is to ask what it is that we Metal Dogs, people born in 1970, according to Chinese astrology, what do we need to bring to this historical moment? Okay. So the first card we get in the position of the recent past. This is the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is grounded. They are young. They are holding a new beginning. This is in the material world, and we can see that there are roots growing. Um, so let's see what else we get as we carry on. Um, in the present, we get a Six of Pentacles, and this is about equal give and take. Again, Pentacles. Um, this is a generous, but it's also a rec receiving card. Um, we'll see. In the hidden influences, we have the Knight of Swords, quick moving, rash, intellectual. He is going somewhere and he's going to get on a motorcycle to go there. He's got a crossbow on his back. The Quarant. For the Quarant, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. So here we are, we're 50. It's like we're at the end of a cycle, we've achieved everything. And yeah, really the world's falling down around us. Um, it's weird, I see like that red pentacle as a kind of apocalyptic sun. While people are just happily goofing around. Um, I see denial in this. I don't usually see denial in this. And I also see these lights hanging above um wow and that geographic diagram in the pentagram makes me think of some sci-fi projects that i'm working on hmm. okay that's the quarant and the people around us hmm ace of wands passionate new ideas a beginning somebody pink um, magical, fairy-like, big, um, that big connection through the third eye. Yeah, I see that peacock. I see lots of eyes in this. Hmm. Okay. Oh, another ending card. This one is Betrayal. This is our advice, and it says walk away from betrayal. Walk away from this ending. She's sad, she's brokenhearted, but there is a sunrise ahead. In the future, huh, curl up in your nest and heal. <laughs> healing, or perhaps we're supposed to tend to those who are healing. No, oh, I see. I see people who have a lot to offer, and I see also people who are surrounded by people with new ideas. That seems like a very young person to me. There's children. Let's just clarify here. Let's clarify the youthful page of pentacles. We get the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Close, or Death. Hmm. It's very Adam and Eve <laughs> to the present. Um, a sense of control, possessiveness. Hmm. Feeling like we lived our life in a certain way and you know we should get to hold on to that. Maybe like I think with this coronavirus, there's a kind of sense of wanting to stay grounded, 
um, you know, a kind of entitlement and possessiveness of our pentacles. You know, we worked hard to get here. That's how I feel like. I feel lucky. Like, I have a lot. Um, the lovers denotes a choice. Um, the Garden of Eden as well. Um, yeah. These people seem pretty clueless to me. Meanwhile, this this came the close. It's a new beginning, transformation. It's the death card. Um, new birth, leavings, and new beginnings. We have a butterfly, we have a heron, an owl. There's a kind of wisdom. Um, huh. To me, I think of the, this coronavirus kind of coming and changing everything when we were just sort of goofing around in our Garden of Eden, our promised land. The present we have the Nine of Cauldrons, we have the Wise One, and we have the Eight of Rods. This suggests um, communication, travel, going inward, again, wealth. Um, wealth, huh. yeah, this person um, in this deck is a fat, happy Nine of Cups. It usually means fulfillment. But here we have um, excess from me, eating too much, drinking too much. Again, I just feel like this frivolity, but also here we've been in isolation, we've been hermiting. Um, and in isolation, perhaps, we're coming into awareness of the tools that we have, what we have to offer. There's a light. Um, and now we're ready to take it out into the world. Okay, this Knight of Swords, this hidden, fast-moving, rash, intellectual. Hmm. This is the hidden influence. Let's see what else we learn. We get another messenger, the Page of Rods. We get the Three of Swords, a broken heart. And we get the Empress. This is Earth. Huh. I really see that we've betrayed our our empress, right? We we were in the Garden of Eden, we got rich, and we betrayed. We betrayed. I feel like this is our betrayal, and we're not seeing it. And we're getting the message, and it's a message about willpower, which means that. We have something to do. Um, he's got his little wand. Um, he's got a little rolled up scroll. Um, this has been making me think about young people and students um, who are pretty pissed off at us for what we've done to this planet. Um, okay. Well, let's see, who are we? The Ten of Pentacles from Metal Dogs. Four of Swords, Healing, Three of Rods, Receiving Help, the Manifestation, and also Strength. Um, yeah, so we've got Strength, um, Healing. There's so much about healing here. You know, we got the Hermit, so we've been going able to be inward and isolated, and um, we could maybe have a sense that there we're being aided. Um, we're also in our fortress, right? So this is a healing card, but also like going alone and protecting yourself in your little castle. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's see here with the Ace of Wands. Still don't quite, I still see kind of a judgy message here, sorry. <laughs> All right, so the Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, this is... Um, Somebody who's worked very hard uh, and is waiting to see the fruits of their labor, right? Um, yeah, kind of makes me think of Trump voters right now. Um, so does this, the Knight of Rods. Um, player energy, passion, willpower, sort of in for the fight. Little asshole, okay. <laughs> And then the Six of Pentacles, which we got 
earlier in the present. So this is rich people. This is this is wealth. We've got rich people. We've got hermiting people. We've got hmm, lots of Trump energy here. Ten of Swords. We get the Eight of Swords. She feels trapped, but she's not. We get the Two of Cauldrons. Um, there is a new uh, partnership or e equality ahead. You just need to walk away from the old one. And the Eight of Pentacles. That's about work. You got work to do. Creativity, ingenuity, determination, um, new skills. Like, look at this artist. He has made this uh, move, this pentacle, wall of pentacles. And he's sewing one in his hand right there. So that's our advice. So you feel trapped, but you're not. Equality and work. Working for justice. Walk away from this feeling of betrayal. Get over the poopy pants party. All right. We've been healing. We've got the message, the truth. We've got young people pissed. Nature is pissed. All right. Four of swords. This is our outcome. King of cauldrons. A more emotional maturity here. Still a king, you know? A new perspective. The lone man has a new perspective. He's hanging from his foot. He also has to wait and see to get that new perspective. And finally, King of Pentacles, still wealthy, still abundant, still secure. Um, it looks good. We definitely need to walk away from whatever we feel is happening, the kind of self-pity, um, or perhaps, um, you know, resting on our laurels, maybe overeating at home too much here. <laughs> we have to address this. We have all the tools that we need. We have strength, we have self-control, we have healing. Um, we need to work for social justice. And then we'll have um, our healing looks like this. This is our future. Two kings with a new perspective. Interesting. <laughs>